Our objective is to modify the given sequential circuit to include an asynchronous reset to set state to zero and state B to one when the signal reset is equal to one. Given that I cannot actually see figure 5 minus 15, I will provide a general approach to adding an asynchronous reset to a sequential circuit that would set the state to equal to 0 B equal to 1 when the reset signal is active assuming reset equal to 1 means active high. This approach is based on common practices in digital circuit design. Ash ash ash. Step 1. Identify flip minus flots first. Identify the type and number of flip minus flots FF used in the circuit for storing the state set and B. These could be D flip minus flops, JK flip minus flops, etc. Depending on the design in figure 5 minus 15. Hash hash hash. Step 2. Determine reset requirements since the requirement is to asynchronously reset the circuit to a specific state equal to 0 B equal to 1. We need to ensure that upon activation of the reset signal, minus the flip minus flop storing state is reset. 0 minus the flip minus flop storing state B is set. 1. Hash hash hash. Step 3. Add a synchronous reset logic to flip minus flop and minus if using a D flip minus flop for stato. You can typically use the asynchronous reset or a clear input if available. Connect the reset signal directly to this input. This ensures that when reset equal to 1 regardless of the clock, stato will be set to 0. Minus if the flip minus flop does not have a direct asynchronous reset input or if a different type of flip minus flop is used, you may need to use additional logic gates to ensure that the input to the flip minus flop forces stated to zero when reset is active. Hash hash hash. Step 4. Add a synchronous set logic to flip minus flop B minus if using a D flip minus flop for state B and it has an asynchronous set or preset input. Connect the reset signal through an inverter to this input. The inverter ensures that when a set equal to 1 the asynchronous set input sees a logic 0, which does not activate the set function. When a set equal to 0 the set input sees a logic 1, but since we are focusing on the reset action, this setup assumes that a logic or initial conditions handle the correct setting of B outside of the reset condition. Minus for flip minus flops without a direct asynchronous set input or for other types of flip minus flops, additional logic may be required to ensure that the input to the flip minus flop forces state B to 1 when reset is acted. Hash hash hash. Step 5. Ensure proper initialization minus make sure that the reset signal is properly initialized at the start of the circuit operation to ensure that the circuit starts in the desired state equal to 0 B equal to 1. Minus test the circuit with the reset signal both active and inactive to confirm that the circuit behaves as expected in both scenarios. Hash hash hash. Step 6. Verify timing and functionality minus once the asynchronous reset logic is added. Verify the timing to ensure that the reset action occurs as expected without causing unintended state changes due to race conditions or glitches. Minus simulate the circuit or use a prototype to test the functionality of the asynchronous reset under various conditions. Hash 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 conclusion by following these stats. You should be able to modify the sequential circuit in figure 5 minus 15 to include an asynchronous reset functionality that sets the circuit to the desired state equal to 0 B equal to 1 when a reset signal is active. Always consider the specific characteristics of the fit minus flops and logic gates you are working with, as different components may require slightly different approaches.